Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to make this giant sunflower, also known as the happy flower. It's a perfect gift to bring joy to someone's day or just a treat for yourself. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more of these crafts. So, let's get creative, shall we? For this craft, we need bright yellow crepe paper for the petals, brown and gold crepe paper for the disc flowers, green crepe paper, and the A3 size paper, a piece of a cardboard, glue, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. Let's get started! With the yellow crepe paper, trace and cut 34 pieces of petals. Please check out the link of the pattern in the description below. Each petal is 5 inches in height and 2.5 and inches in width. Then take the green grip paper trace and cut the pattern to make three leaves. This leaf is 8 inches in height and 5 inches in width. Then cut an inch of a strip from the brown paper, we need six pieces of these. Fold it into half and make fringes on it. With the gold crib paper, make four pieces of one inch strip and fold it into half. And cut zigzag patterns on it. And then cut it into half. For the sample, I'm going to trace this circle with 4 inches in diameter. Cut an extra half an inch around it. And cut some zigzag patterns. Take the cutout petals and use your two thumbs to stretch it. Gently hold and stretch on each side to give it a nice curve. And do the same to all the other petals. Take the cut-out leaf and fold it into half. Starting from the tip, fold it in a zigzag pattern. Gently press it and open it up. Then repeat the same step for the remaining leaves. Then grab a leaf and put some glue in the center line. Then 
and fold it into half and make sure that the center line will stick together. Then gently open it up again. And take a piece of a cardboard, trace and cut the same circle that we used earlier. We can now stick our first layer of petals. second layer, stick the petal between the gaps. Third layer, stick the petal between the gaps of the petals from the second layer. Put some glue around the center area as a guide. Slightly overlap the paper strip while sticking it. Make two layers of this gold strip around the center. For the center, take the brown paper fringes and put glue as you roll it. More glue and stick it in the middle. Then take the remaining paper fringes and roll it around the center to cover the area. To make the stem, take the A3 paper and roll it into a stick. Starting from the corner, roll it tightly in a flat surface. Continue rolling and add glue. Then take a piece of a green crepe paper to cover it. To attach the stem to the flower, I'm using a double-sided tape to make it more steady. Turn it over and stick it on the back. Then add some more glue and cover with the sample. And now it's time to attach the leaves. And now, this giant sunflower is ready to brighten up your day. I hope you had fun making this craft. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye! 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.